in early April 2011, uh, there was a tip. Uh, some students tipped off school officials that the upcoming lacrosse school bus trip, there might, someone might have alcohol on the school bus. Well, school officials immediate, immediately reacted and came in and took, took the students off the bus right before it was ready to leave and searched the bags without the students being present, of course. And uh, in a couple of bags, they found some suspicious items. Uh, in one bag, Casey's bag, they found a, a small lighter. And that was later called an explosive device, like a terrorist. Then there was Graham's bag. Uh, Graham, of course, was a lacrosse player, and so was uh, Casey. Um, Graham's bag had a small pen knife. If you know what a pen knife is, we're going to show you a picture of it right now. It's used to fix things. That's basically all it is. It's a tool, but it has a small knife on it, a screwdriver, and a few other things. These were both of these items, the, the pen knife that got uh, Graham a lot of trouble, and Casey's lighter were items they used to fix their lacrosse equipment with. That's why they had them. Well, school officials became very, very alarmed at these dangerous weapons that were afoot on the, school, on the bus on the way to the lacrosse trip. So they called the police in. Immediately, uh, Graham was handcuffed, with handcuffs behind his back, and he was taken away to jail. I'm still astounded at all the zero tolerance cases that we've been involved in at the Rutherford Institute and how crazy they are. And this is another case at the Rutherford Institute we're becoming involved in. You need to go to our website at rutherford.org and read our press release and see a copy of the letter that I sent to school officials saying, what's up here, folks? Why would you arrest these people? Uh, first of all, by having things that were equipment to fix their lacrosse equipment so they could be better lacrosse players. Why would you do that? Uh, of course, parents weren't called in or consulted, and the parents are outraged. There's a lot of problems here, overreacting by school officials, and school officials, in my opinion, are not taking into account what they're doing to these kids. Well, we looked at Maryland law. Under Maryland law, lighters, by the way, which smokers use, and probably many of the school uh, officials had them in their pockets to take their smoke breaks with, are not considered weapons. Neither are pen knives considered dangerous weapons. So why do they haul the kids off to jail? Overreaction by school officials. Uh, that's another dangerous trend I see at a foot here is automatically now turning things over to the police. Wouldn't it have been better just to take the pen knife away and say, hey, we'll hold it here in our pocket, the coach maybe, and when you're when your uh, lacoste racket breaks, well, you can use it to fix it with. Aren't there reasonable things that adults used to do? When I was a child in school, I, there were no zero tolerance policies. Uh, kids did all kinds of crazy things. Never no police. Nobody was thrown out of school. I never knew anybody being expelled or suspended from school when I was in high school in the, 19, in the 1960s. So something drastic has changed. Not to mention the constitutional violations, unreasonable searches and seizures, anonymous tips, they can search all your bags. Well, the Fourth Amendment says that's not supposed to happen. You're supposed to have warrants and judges to, to supervise these kind of things. So what are we telling kids in schools these days? They live in a police state. If they go out and live their lives now and the police can pull them over and just search you willy-nilly, just throw the Fourth Amendment in the garbage. Hearings, no due process hearing. There would even be a hearing to see why they had the pen knife or the, or the explosive device. Oh, excuse me, the cigarette lighter or whatever kind of liar it was. Uh, so something's gone really wrong here. Well, we're, we're involved in this particular case at Rutherford Institute, we're gonna find it very difficult, but uh, we need to revamp these zero tolerance policies. Uh, schools need to stop overreacting and we need to start thinking about, and I'm talking about school officials here. School officials need to start thinking about how they're destroying some of these kids' future.